It's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read the story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek the story time. Story, story, story time. You and me, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Well, let's achieve. Hello, my beautiful K crew. And welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How is your Sunday going? Are you ready for Christmas and all the holiday festivities? I hope so. And I hope you are making sure to stay safe. As you can see, we put our Christmas tree up. It's not 100% finished yet with the decorations, but that'll do, that'll do for now. <laughs> now today, we have another special Arthur feature. Today, we will take a look at a book from Arthur M. Dalton King and illustrator Marina Kushner. They have come together to write a super fun book that definitely has us questioning what if. So, without further ado, the book we'll be reading tonight is called Brrr, dun, 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 dun. What If All the Hippos Got Loose and Came to Live With Us? You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin! What If All the Hippos Got Loose and Came to Live With Us? Written by M. Dalton King and illustrated by Marina Kushner. Here we go. Oh, look at all the hippos on their plane. They're coming to our towns, to our cities, and wait, I think they might come to live with us. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. What if all the hippos got loose from the zoo and walked right in the door? <gasps> Ooh. The hippo's like, hey guys. <laughs> Making themselves at home without so much as a may I, do you mind, or a single please. Mm, they just came in rearranging the furniture, putting their clothes inside, throwing away, throwing out his, putting their leader up. What? So imagine our surprise if before our very eyes they tried to sit in our chairs. We couldn't ride the elevators if they were our neighbors. We'd have to take the stairs. Mm, there's not enough room. Yeah. And they break in the furniture. What? How are you going to come in and break furniture? They'd buy all the food, which would be rather rude, as hippos don't like to share. And when it comes to housekeeping, hippos simply don't care. Oh, they are some messy, messy animals. They like to eat a lot and leave a mess behind. <laughs> you won't see hippos riding in cars or getting on a bus without some pushing, shoving, and a great big fuss. Ooh. Ballerinas wouldn't be able to dance their dance. And where, oh where, will hippos buy pants? That is very true. Oh my goodness, they will break the chair, their uh, chairs, and their pants will probably split a lot. One wrong move. <laughs> they teeter on the totter and fall off the slide a lot. They can't even play catch, skip, jump rope, or hop. Oh, oh they can't do that. What do they do for fun, I wonder then? They could join a circus, but couldn't be a waiter. Or work in a kitchen because they can't peel potatoes. <laughs> I don't think you peel potatoes with uh, scissors. That, that seems a little uh, off to me. <laughs> Shoes could be a problem for their big feet. And you won't find a dentist who look at their teeth. Uh, yes, I, they probably have to go to a special vet just to look at their teeth. Not any dentist that we go to, or doctor. They want to drink out of our little mugs. Oh, and what trouble they'd have fitting into a tub. Oh. <laughs> then there's the matter of where will they sleep? Or cook those big dinners that hippos like to eat? Oh, where would they sleep? Do you think a hippo can fit in your bed at home? Hmm. Hmm. 
Yes, living with hippos could be very hard. It's true. But maybe, just maybe, it could be lots of fun too. Ooh, that does look fun. You know, hippos are usually at the circus and stuff, and they do probably know, learned a few things from some clowns. <laughs> They can be nice and polite if they're in a good mood. And there's not a zookeeper anywhere in the room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we just eliminate the zookeeper and make sure they're in a good, mo good mood. Then they can be sweet as pie. <laughs> We'd be able to reach higher than ever before. They'd also be very good at answering our door. Hello. <laughs> Hippos can swim just like fish. And some are even willing to perform magic tricks. Oh, I would love it if my hippo can perform magic tricks. I will always be entertained. <laughs> They'd be awfully good at keeping away pesky bugs. That's a good one. <laughs> but best of all, hippos are known for giving the very best hugs. Oh, I would love a hug from a hippo. <laughs> Especially when they're in their good mood and they're polite. <laughs> so maybe we'll allow them to stay, at least for a day. Perhaps even more, because that's what friends are for. Oh, welcome all hippos. The end. Yes, K-Crew. Imagine if hippos really did come to live with us. Would you enjoy that? Let me know in the comments below. We will probably have to go to the store a hundred times so they can always be fed and have enough food since they eat so much. But it will probably be fun too. <laughs> Now, I hope you enjoy reading this book as much as I did to find your copy of What If. Make sure to head on over to her website, and you can also find this book on Amazon. And of course, be sure to follow on social media. A big thank you to the Arthur and Illustrator for this book. I love reading books that allows us to use our imagination and our creativity. I thank you all out there for joining me as well, but... It's time to sing goodbye. Are we ready? Here we go. Goodbye, 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 my friends. Goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb into bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three, goodnight.